St. Louis University is a private Roman Catholic research university with campuses in St. Louis, Missouri, United States, and Madrid, Spain. Founded in 1818 by Louis Guillaume Valentin Duberg, it is the oldest university west of the Mississippi River and the second oldest Jesuit university in the United States. It is one of 28 member institutions of the Association of Jesuit Colleges and Universities. The university is accredited by the North Central Association of Colleges and Secondary Schools. SLU's athletic teams compete in NCAA's Division I and are a member of the Atlantic 10 Conference. It has an enrollment of 12,649 students, including 7,984 undergraduate students and 4,665 graduate students that represents all 50 states and more than 70 foreign countries. Its average class size is 23.8 and the student faculty ratio is 9 to 1. For nearly 50 years, the university has maintained a campus in Madrid, Spain. The Madrid campus was the first freestanding campus operated by an American university in Europe and the first American institution to be recognized by Spain's Higher Education Authority as an official foreign university. The campus has 826 students, a faculty of 110, an average class size of 15 and a student-faculty ratio of 7 to 1. History St. Louis University traces its origins to the St. Louis Academy, founded on November 16, 1818 by the Most Reverend Louis Guillaume Valentin Duberg, Bishop of Louisiana and the Floridas, and placed under the charge of the Reverend Francois Neal and others of the secular clergy attached to the St. Louis Cathedral. Its first location was in a private residence near the Mississippi River in an area now occupied by the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial within the Archdiocese of St. Louis. Already having a two-story building for the 65 students using Bishop Duberg's personal library of 8,000 volumes for its printed materials, the name St. Louis Academy was changed in 1820 to St. Louis College, while the secondary school division remained St. Louis Academy, now known as St. Louis University High School. In 1827 Bishop Duberg placed St. Louis College in the care of the Society of Jesus. Not long after that, it received its charter as a university by Act of the Missouri Legislature. In 1829 it moved to Washington Avenue and 9th at the site of today's America's Center by the Edward Jones Dome. In 1852 the university and its teaching priests were the subject of a viciously anti-Catholic novel, The Mysteries of St. Louis, written by newspaper editor Henry Bowernstein whose popular paper, The Anziger des Westens was also a foe of the university. In 1867 after the American Civil War the university purchased Lindell's Grove to be the site of its current campus. Lindell's Grove was the site of the Civil War. Camp Jackson Affair. On May 10, 1861 U.S. regulars and federally enrolled Missouri Volunteers arrested the Missouri Volunteer Militia after the militia received a secret shipment of siege artillery, infantry weapons and ammunition from the Confederate government. 
While the militia was arrested without violence, angry local citizens rushed to the site, and rioting broke out, in which 28 people were killed. The Camp Jackson affair led to open conflict within the state, culminating with a successful federal offensive in mid-June 1861 which expelled the state's pro-secession governor Claiborne Fox Jackson from the state capital Jefferson City. Jackson later led a Missouri Confederate government in exile, dying of cancer in Little Rock, Arkansas in 1862. The first and most iconic building on campus, Duberg Hall, began construction in 1888, and the college moved to its new location in 1889. St. Francis Javier College Church moved to its current location with the completion of the lower church in 1884. It was completed in 1898. During the early 1940s, many local priests, especially the Jesuits, began to challenge the segregationist policies at the city's Catholic colleges and parochial schools. After the Pittsburgh Courier, an African-American newspaper, ran a 1944 expose on St. Louis Archbishop John J. Glennon's interference with the admittance of a black student at the local Webster College, Fr. Claude Heithouse, S.J., professor of classical archaeology at St. Louis University, delivered an angry homily accusing his own institution of immoral behavior in its segregation policies. By summer of 1944, St. Louis University had opened its doors to African Americans, after its president, Father Patrick Holleran, secured Glennon's reluctant approval. <laughs> Shift to majority lay board of trustees In 1967, St. Louis University became one of the first Catholic universities to increase layperson decision-making power. At the time, then board chairman Fr. Paul Reinert, S.J., stepped aside to be replaced by layman Daniel Schlafly. The board also shifted to an 18-10 majority of laypeople. This was largely instituted due to the landmark Maryland Court of Appeals case, Horace Mann v. the Board of Public Works of Maryland, in which grants to largely sectarian colleges were declared unconstitutional. The Second Vatican Council has also been mentioned as a major influence on this decision for its increased focus on the laity, as well as the decreased recruitment of nuns and priests since the Council. From 1985 to 1992, the chairman of the Board of Trustees was William H. T. Bush, younger brother of former President George H. W. Bush. The younger Bush also taught classes at the school. Since the move to lay oversight, debate has erupted many times over how much influence the Roman Catholic Church should have on the affairs of the university. The decision by the university to sell its hospital to Tenet Healthcare Corp. in 1997 met much resistance by both local and national church leaders, but went ahead as planned. In 2016 St. Louis University Hospital found its present owner, the Catholic SSM Health System, planning a $500 million rebuilding of the hospital. Topic. Timeline 1818 – First institution of higher learning west of the Mississippi River 1832 – First graduate programs west of the Mississippi River 
1836 First Medical School west of the Mississippi River 1843 First in the West to open a school of law 1906 First forward pass in football history 1910 First business school west of the Mississippi River 1925 First Department of Geophysics in the Western Hemisphere 1927 First Federally Licensed School of Aviation 1944 First University in Missouri to establish an official policy admitting African American students, integrating its student body 1959 First Dual Credit Program West of the Mississippi, named the 1818 Project and now known as the 1818 Advanced College Credit Program. 1967 First major Catholic institution in the world with an integrated lay and religious board of trustees. 1972 First Human Heart Transplant in Missouri 2000 First Doctor of Philosophy, Ph.D. Degree in Aviation in the World Awarded Topic. Campus SLU's campus consists of over 235 acres 95.1 hectares of land and 7.2 million GSF 7,200,000 square feet 670,000 square meters, with 131 buildings on campus. For the 2018-19 school year, the university installed 2,300 Echo Dots, the hardware for Amazon's Smart Assistant Alexa, in students' dorm rooms. SLU is the first college or university in the United States to bring an Amazon Alexa-enabled device into every student apartment or student resident hall room on the campus. <laughs> <laughs> Libraries and museums St. Louis University has four libraries. Pius XII Memorial Library is the general academic library. It holds over 1 million books, 6,000 journal subscriptions, and 140 electronic databases. Pius XII Memorial Library is under renovation, which were voted upon by the students in November 2011. These renovations, which are due to be completed in June 2012, includes more seating, more study areas, and designated noise zones. The Knights of Columbus Vatican Film Library holds a unique collection of microfilm focusing on the manuscripts housed in the Biblioteca Apostolica Vaticana. The Omer Poos Law Library houses the law collection and is within the School of Law. The Medical Center Library serves the health and medical community at SLU. Every year, the St. Louis University Library Associates present the St. Louis Literary Award to a distinguished figure in literature. Sir Salman Rushdie received the 2009 Literary Award. E. L. Doctorow received the 2008 St. Louis Literary Award. The university also has two museums, the Museum of Contemporary Religious Art and the St. Louis University Museum of Art the Samuel Couples House at the heart of campus features SLU's collection of Art Deco and Art Nouveau glass. In addition, Boilo Hall provides current students and faculty with space to display their work. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Clock Tower. St. Louis University's clock tower is in the middle of campus, making it the ideal center stage for students' everyday life. Many social gatherings have been held here, ranging from protests, to philanthropy events sponsored by the school's Greek life. The clock tower, at the heart of SLU's campus, was constructed in 1993 and served to close off the campus from the remainder of West Pine Avenue, which at one point ran through it. In 2011 the clock tower was dedicated to a prominent alumnus of St. Louis University, Joseph G. Lippick, and was renamed the Joseph G. Lippick Clock Tower Plaza. The clock tower of St. Louis University runs on a turret clock electrical system. In a turret clock electrical system, according to the Anderson Institute, the clock is run electronically using a pendulum system to make the clock turn. Within clock towers, a quartz crystal device makes the clock run precisely on a consistent basis and is only a second off every 10 years. The SLU clock tower also features fountains around the perimeter at the base. These fountains are run by a wind sensor that can detect the wind speeds to determine the height the fountains reach. Topic. Housing St. Louis has both dormitory and apartment space on campus. Up-to-date information on housing options is carried on the university's website. As part of the First Year Experience program, resident freshman students are required to live on campus unless a commuter from the St. Louis area for the first two years of their careers at SLU, before being released to move into upperclassmen or off-campus housing. The sophomore residency requirement caused controversy when initiated in the 2009-10 school year, as the university lacked adequate housing to house all sophomores and upperclassmen who requested on-campus housing. Around 1,000 juniors and seniors were pushed off campus when sophomores were granted access to traditionally junior and senior housing options. In the 2010-11 school year, the school announced the transfer of the Student Housing Scholarship of $1,000 to $2,000 to Tuition Scholarship, which made off-campus housing more affordable and pursued by upperclassmen. Topic. Freshman year experience options The Griesdijk complex, also known as Grise, pronounced Grise, contains 16 stories of living space in its main building, which was completed in 1963, with additional living space in its two wings, Walsh, all female, and Clemens, all male. Grise is in the heart of the campus, in front of the quad, and has an average freshman living space, 10 feet 7.5 by 18 feet 2 inches, with community showers and bathrooms. Reinert Hall, named after Jesuit father Paul C. Reinert, is two blocks south of the main campus in a converted Marriott hotel. Where the building lacks in location it makes up for in living space, containing some of the largest dormitories across the country, 12 feet 1 inch by 27 feet, complete with private full baths in each room, though each room houses three to four roommates. Reinert also has access to 24-hour in-building study, meeting rooms and its own dining hall. 
Other on-campus housing is the site of several different Phi learning communities, which allow freshmen to live and study with like-minded or like-majored peers. FUSZ Hall houses the Honors Learning Community, while Marguerite Hall houses both the MICA program and the Business Learning Community. Upper-class options Several housing choices exist for sophomores, juniors and seniors. Dimash's Hall acts as a Greek dormitory and de facto community house. Next to Dimash's Hall is Marguerite Hall, which offers eight floors of suite-style two-occupancy dorm rooms. Continuing up West Pine Mall, is Pruellage, formerly Notre Dame Hall. While many honors students once chose to live here, in 2008 it was changed to the Language Villa, where foreign students and language students can live together. The choice of moving the foreign and language students from the language houses on Laclede Street to Notre Dame Hall created some controversy in both the language and honors communities. The former language houses, once French, German, and Spanish, are now occupied by upperclassmen notably from the MICA program. Another dorm option is FUSZ Hall, catter-corner to the university's clock tower. Grand Forest, the village, and the Marchetti Towers are the on-campus apartment options available. Because of its proximity to the Chafetz Arena, many student-athletes live in Grand Forest. Similarly, the village, just across from Dimash's, houses many Greeks. The Marchetti Towers are just west of Grand Forest and consists of two, 12-story towers. During the summer of 2008, Marchetti Towers underwent a $3.8 million renovation. Topic: <laughs> Major building and renovation projects. During the past 20 years, the university has seen the modernization and construction of campus buildings as well as the revitalization of surrounding Midtown St. Louis. Some of the highlights of three decades at SLU include the investment of more than $840 million in enhancements and expansions including the major expansion of the Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business, construction of McDonnell Douglas Hall, home to Parks College of Engineering, Aviation and Technology, the Center for Advanced Dental Education, the Doisy College of Health Sciences, Sciences Building and the expansion and renovation of the Bush Student Center. Part of this expansion was the closing of two blocks of West Pine Boulevard, the section between N. Vandeventer Avenue and N. Grand Boulevard, and two blocks of N. Spring Avenue between Lindell Boulevard and Laclede Clede Avenue, both public streets which the campus had previously expanded across, converting them into a pedestrian mall. Furthermore, the university completed construction of the $82 million Edward A. Doisy Research Center in 2007 and the on-campus Chaffetz Arena in 2008. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Edward A. Doisy Research Center. SLU recently completed building a $67 million, 10-story tall research center connected to its medical campus building. It is designed to be a green building and is named for Edward Adelbert Doisy, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine laureate of 1943 and a longtime faculty member at SLU's medical school. 
With improvements to other research building facilities, the total cost of the project is forecast to be around $80 million. The building had its official dedication ceremony on December 7, 2007, with faculty and staff having begun to move in during the previous weeks. In July 2010, the Edward A. Doisy Research Center became home to the Center for World Health and Medicine, a non-profit drug discovery group dedicated to developing therapies for orphan and neglected diseases. St. Louis University School of Law St. Louis University School of Law was founded in 1843 and is the oldest law school west of the Mississippi River. The students attend classes in Scott Hall, which is in downtown St. Louis. The hall was previously renovated and for the first time, the St. Louis University Law Library and Legal Clinics are housed under the same roof as the school. The current dean for the School of Law is William P. Johnson. Topic: <laughs> Chafetz Arena. The multi-purpose arena, construction of which was completed in early April 2008 at a cost of $80.5 million, contains 10,600 seats for basketball, a training facility, state-of-the-art locker rooms, and a practice facility that can house an additional 1,000 spectators. It is on the easternmost end of campus, just north of I-64, U.S. 40. The arena replaced Scott Trade Center as the university's primary location for large events, notably commencement celebrations and varsity sports. On February 28, 2007, the arena was named in honor of university alumnus 1975 Dr. Richard Chaffetz, founder and CEO of CompSych Corp., who made a $12 million naming rights gift to the arena. The university's official dedication ceremony for the arena was held on April 10, 2008. Topic Academics SLU offers about 100 undergraduate programs and 80 post-baccalaureate programs, along with programs adapted to working adults at both the undergraduate and graduate levels including 25 completely online programs. The university operates under one overall president but has the following schools with their own deans or directors, College of Art and Sciences, College of Philosophy and Letters, Doisy College of Health Sciences, School of Medicine, School of Nursing, Center for Advanced Dental Education, Albert Nagy Center for Health Care Ethics, College for Public Health and Social Justice, School of Social Work, Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business, School of Education, School of Law, Parks College of Engineering, Aviation and Technology, Campus in Madrid, Spain, School for Professional Studies, Center for Outcomes Research, Center for Sustainability. Topic: Athletics. The St. Louis Billikens are the collegiate athletic varsity teams of St. Louis University. This NCAA Division I program has teams in soccer, basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, swimming and diving, cross country, tennis, track and field, and field hockey. They compete in the Atlantic 10 Conference where they are the westernmost member, and both the first member west of the Mississippi and in the Central Time Zone. 
The school has nationally recognized soccer programs for men and women. In 2016 the women's basketball team made their second trip to the Women's National Invitation Tournament. The school has heavily invested in its on-campus athletic facilities in the past 20 years with the creation of Herman Stadium and Chafetz Arena. Chris May is the current director of athletics. Travis Ford, who took Oklahoma State to five NCAA tournaments in eight years, was hired as men's basketball coach in March 2016. The St. Louis Billikens have a student run fan club called the Slunatics. This club supports all sporting Billiken athletic events, focusing mostly on soccer and basketball. At Billiken basketball games, the Slunatics have a large cheering section where they lead chants and cheers to engage the crowd. In order to encourage students to attend athletic events and be a part of Slunatics, a program called Billiken Rewards was created. It is a free program where students collect credits at designated events to earn prizes. Through five different prize levels, students can earn a variety of Billiken merchandise. Topic: Student life. Topic: Campus ministry. Campus Ministry presents a variety of activities and events noted at its website including widespread opportunities to attend Holy Mass and numerous retreat experiences. The department also collaborates with the Center for Service and Community Engagement. Topic. Center for Service and Community Engagement The center, with six on its full-time staff, works with campus ministry and student organizations to foster community service. It also helps teachers in more than 80 courses to incorporate service learning components and to devise community-based research projects. The center cooperates with the 13 student service-oriented organizations on campus. Students at SLU ranked fourth among the universities in the country in hours of community service in 2015, according to the Washington Monthly Report. In line with the Jesuit objective of training men and women for others, the center offers dozens of service opportunities to students. Some areas for volunteers to choose from include, adult education, animals, art and culture, business, employment, children, youth, community centers, neighborhoods, environment, faith and justice, health care, housing, homelessness, hunger, law, public policy, mental health, disabilities, multicultural, older adults, victims, and women and gender. The center offers numerous fairs and special events to assist students and staff to become more involved in service to the local community. These include a community service fair involving over 70 nonprofits, a social justice fair featuring dozens of activity and advocacy groups, and Make a Difference Day when the whole university community, past and present, disperses to make a difference at numerous work sites around the city. There are also three donation drives spread throughout the year, Kids Mart, Blue Santa, and Clothing and Toiletries. And October and November find 26 different organizations around the city welcoming students to help in their one-day events. SLU was also 
the first ever service site for the national non-profit organization The Campus Kitchens Project. The university also offers the opportunity of the federal work study program. Immersion experiences involve planning from weeks before the experience, a week long experience, and reflection sessions after. Locales currently visited include St. Louis, Mo, Mobile, Alabama, Larsh. Wheeling, West Virginia, Kermit, WV, Navajo Nation, AS, Los Angeles, California, El Paso, Texas, Juarez, MX, and Nogales AS, Nogales, MX, Kino Border Initiative. Student leadership training is also offered in conjunction with these experiences. Summer volunteer work at Camp Kesem is another initiative that trains student leaders. Cooperating organizations at the university include Interfaith Alliance and SLUCORE, which promote interfaith activities, social justice awareness, and service in the community. Another program on social justice formation is an Ignatian family teach-in in Washington, D.C. a weekend of learning and advocacy. Training for advocacy through the business school as well as summer and year-long programs are also offered. <laughs> <laughs> Student organizations. St. Louis University has over 240 student organizations that cover a variety of interests, student government, club sports, organizations focused on media and publications, performing arts, religion and volunteerism and service. Alpha Kappa Psi ACP is a coeducational professional business fraternity, it is the oldest and largest professional business fraternity to current date. Alpha Phi Omega APO, a coeducational service fraternity that promotes the values of leadership, friendship, and service. Being one of the largest chapters in the nation, SLU's chapter founded in 1944 performed over 15,000 hours to the St. Louis community in the 2009-2010 academic year. Delta Sigma Pi DSP, a co-ed professional business fraternity in the Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business that promotes the study of business, commerce, and economics. The fraternity hosts professional events, participates in community service, and attends national conferences on a regular basis. Parks Guard, military drill team that competes in military drill competitions and conducts honor guard ceremonies for local events. Campus Kitchen, program where student volunteers cook safe, unused food from campus dining facilities and deliver meals to low-income individuals and local community organizations. Global Brigades, international student-led organization that focuses on holistic and sustainable development working with global communities in need. St. Louis University sends groups to Nicaragua, Panama, and Honduras. Alpha Epsilon Delta AED, pre-health honor society hosting medically oriented speakers and providing information, guidance, and resources to pre-medical and other pre-health students. <laughs> Greek life St. Louis has seven fraternities and seven sororities on campus. Notable alumni St. 
Topic: Academia. Robert Arp, PhD, 2004, philosopher and author. George Hardin Brown, Medieval Literature. Jesse Grant Chaplin, American educator and politician who founded Distance Learning College. Michael J. Garanzini, S.J. B.A. 1971, President of Loyola University of Chicago, since 2001, former President of SLU Student Government Association, 1969-1970. Joseph Kotarski, S.J., M.A. 1980, Ph.D. 1982, Professor of Philosophy and Master of Queen's Court Residential College at Fordham University. Francis Leo Lawrence, B.A. 1959, President of Rutgers University from 1990 to 2002. William P. Leahy, S.J. M.A. 1972, 1975, President of Boston College since 1996. J. Bernard Mackin, D.D.S. 1968, President of the University of Florida from 2004 to 2014. Diana Natalicio, President of the University of Texas at El Paso. Walter J. Ong, S.J., M.A. 1941, Cultural and Religious Historian, Philosopher, and Lecturer. Bernadette Gray Little, Ph.D., Chancellor of the University of Kansas since 2009. Joseph L. Badaraco, John Shad Professor of Business Ethics at Harvard Business School. Topic: The Arts. Thomas P. Barnett, 1886, prominent architect and American Impressionist painter. Charles Bosserin Chambers 1882-1964, painter, and illustrator. Richard Dooling, B.A. 1976, J.D. 1987, lawyer and author of four novels, Critical Care, White Man's Grave, Brainstorm, Bet Your Life. Robert Guillaume attended stage and television actor Benson Soap James Gunn BA 1992 film director Guardians of the Galaxy Slither screenwriter Dawn of the Dead Scooby Doo Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed and novelist The Toy Collector Andreas Katsoulas, B.A. Actor, The Fugitive, Babylon 5, Star Trek, The Next Generation. David Merrick, J.D. 1937, Broadway producer. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Business. Richard Chaffetz, B.S. 1975, Founder, Chairman, CEO of CompSight Corporation, Founder, Chairman of Chaffetz Group, Naming Donor of the Richard A. Chaffetz School of Business and Chaffetz Arena, Michael Bidwill, B.S. 1987, President, Arizona Cardinals. August Bush IV, BS, MBA, former president and CEO of the Anheuser Busch Companies, Inc. Mark Lamping, MBA, former president of the St. Louis Cardinals. Walden O'Dell, BS, MS, CEO and chairman of Diebold, Inc. 1999-2005. Rex Sinquifield, BA, co-founder and co-chairman of Dimensional Fund Advisors, president of the Show Me Institute. Topic: 
Topic: Politics. David Barrett, MSW 1956, Premier of British Columbia, Canada, 1972 to 1975. Dana J. Boente, 1954, General Counsel of the FBI and former Acting Attorney General of the United States. Enrique Bolaños, BA 1962, former President of Nicaragua. Freeman Bosley Jr., BA 1976, JD 1979, St. Louis, Missouri's first African American mayor. Jack W. Buchner, JD 1965, U.S. Congressman, Missouri, 1987 to 1991. Joyce Abusi, political strategist and national political director to Congressman Dick Gephardt. Cuico Canseco, B.A., J.D., U.S. Congressman, Texas, 2011-2013. Alfonso J. Cervantes, 43rd Mayor of the City of St. Louis, 1965-1973 William Lacey Clay Sr., B.S. 1953, U.S. Congressman, Missouri, 1969-2001 James F. Conway, B.S., M.B.A., 45th Mayor of the City of St. Louis, 1977-1981 Kevin F. O'Malley, A.B. 1970, J.D. in 1973, United States Ambassador to Ireland, 2014-2017 Joseph M. Darst, 41st Mayor of the City of St. Louis, 1949-1953 Jason Grill, Representative in the Missouri House of Representatives, 2006-2010 Robert Emmett Hannigan, 1903 to 1949, JD 1925, Commissioner of US Internal Revenue, 1943 to 1945, Chairman, Democratic National Committee, 1944 to 1947, US Postmaster General, Truman Administration, 1945 to 1947. President, St. Louis Cardinals, 1947-1949 Lester C. Hunt, Governor of Wyoming, 1943-1949, U.S. Senator, Wyoming, 1949-1954 John M. Nations, J.D. 1988, Mayor, Chesterfield, Missouri, 2001. Mark Parkinson, Republican member of the Missouri House of Representatives. William F. Quinn, first Governor of Hawaii, 1959 to 1963. Richard J. Rabbit, B.S. and L.L.B., Speaker of Missouri House of Representatives. David Safavian, B.A., Chief of Staff, General Services Administration, 2002-2003. Francis Slay, J.D. 1980, 49th Mayor of the City of St. Louis. Steve Stenger, Democrat politician and county executive of St. Louis County. James F. Strother, Virginia House of Delegate 1840-1851, Speaker of the Virginia House 1851, U.S. Congressman, Virginia 1851-1853. John B. Sullivan, U.S. Congressman, Missouri, 1941-1943, 1945-1947, 1949-1951. 
Joseph P. Teasdale, J.D., Governor of Missouri, 1977-1981. Harold L. Volkmer, U.S. Congressman, Missouri, 1977-1997 Stephen Weber, Democratic member of the Missouri House of Representatives William R. Hain, member of the Illinois Senate Science. Jan Garavaglia, M.D., star of Dr. G., medical examiner. Jean Kranz, B.S. 1954, lead NASA flight director during the Apollo 11 moon landing and leader of the Apollo 13 rescue mission. Nathan H. Lentz, B.S., 1999, Ph.D., 2004, scientist and author. Richard G. Thomas Aeronautical Engineering Northrop Grumman, Tacit Blue, Secret Project, Area 51, F-5 Spin Tests Edwards AFB, California <laughs> Sports Andy Bennis, All-Star Major League Baseball right-handed pitcher. Played 14 years in Major League Baseball, from 1989 to 2002, and with four different teams, the San Diego Padres, the Seattle Mariners, the St. Louis Cardinals and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Bennis joined SLU as a student after his professional baseball career ended. Anthony Bonner, SLU's all-time leading scorer in men's basketball and played six seasons in the NBA for the Sacramento Kings, New York Knicks and the Orlando Magic. Dick Bushka, basketball All-American in 1954-55, Olympic gold medalist in 1956. Drafted by the Minneapolis Lakers. Bob Ferry, basketball All-American in 1958-59, enjoyed a 10-year career in the NBA with the St. Louis Hawks, Detroit Pistons, and Baltimore Bullets. Former assistant coach and general manager of the Baltimore Bullets, NBA Executive of the Year in 1979 and 1982. Larry Hughes, NBA basketball player, attended but never graduated, was drafted after his freshman year into the NBA by the Philadelphia 76ers. Pat Leahy, placekicker for the New York Jets from 1974 to 1990, played soccer at SLU. Ed McCauley, 1949, NBA Hall of Famer. Brian McBride, first American to score in more than one FIFA World Cup tournament, doing so once in 1998 and twice in 2002. He is also SLU's all-time leading goal scorer and held the freshman scoring record until 2003, when he was surpassed by Vedad Ibishevich. George Michael, Emmy-winning sportscaster, creator and host of the George Michael Sports Machine. Tim Ream, current defender for Fulham FC and United States men's national soccer team. Mike Shanahan, former owner of St. Louis Blues 1986-95, soccer teams won national championships 1959-1960. Jerry Trupiano, former Boston Red Sox radio broadcaster. Ty Keough, prominent amateur and professional soccer player and college coach, broadcaster with TNT, ESPN, and ABC. 
Brad Davis, attended but never graduated, was drafted after his sophomore year into the MLS by the Metro Stars, plays for Sporting Kansas City. Topic. Miscellaneous Michael G. Brandt, Air National Guard Brigadier General Thomas Anthony Dooley, humanitarian who worked in Southeastern Asia, author of Deliver Us from Evil, The Edge of Tomorrow, and The Night They Burned the Mountain. John Kaiser, MHM. Mill Hill missionary died under suspicious circumstances while serving in Kenya. Received an award for distinguished service in the promotion of human rights from the Law Society of Kenya prior to his death. Bradbury Robinson, threw the first legal forward pass in football history for SLU in 1906. Captained SLU's baseball and track teams. Practiced surgery at the Mayo Clinic 1908-1910 and served on the staff of Surgeon General Hugh S. Cumming 1920-1926. Twice elected mayor of St. Louis, Michigan 1931 and 1937. Sister Rose Thering O.P., Ph.D. 1961 Dominican nun whose campaign against antisemitism in Catholic textbooks is the subject of the Oscar-nominated 39-minute documentary film directed by Oren Jacoby, Sister Rose's Passion. Richard Sticka, 3rd Bishop of the Diocese of Knoxville. Bobby Wilkes, first African-American Coast Guard aviator, the first African-American to reach the rank of captain in the Coast Guard and the first African-American to command a Coast Guard air station. Topic. Notable faculty Topic. Past Vernon Burke 1931 philosopher and author, considered an authority on Thomistic moral philosophy, first hockey coach of the university. Edward Adelbert Doisy, November 3, 1893 to October 23, 1986, biochemist, awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1943 with Henrik Dam for their discovery of vitamin K and its chemical structure. Timothy Michael Cardinal Dolan served as an adjunct professor of theology. James B. McElwain, pioneering seismologist. Marshall McLuhan, 1937 to 1944, well known for coining the expressions "the medium is the message" and the "global village." Kurt Schuschnigg, 1948 to 1967, Chancellor of Austria from 1934 to 1938. An ally of Mussolini who advocated for continued Austrian national sovereignty as opposed to annexation or Anschluss by the Third Reich and for advocating the conservative, authoritarian and pro-Catholic state established by assassinated Chancellor Engelbert Dollfuss often referred to as Austrofascism, Schuschnigg is known for his suppression of political opposition in Austria including the Communists, Social Democrats and Nazis. He was pressured to resign by Hitler during his country's annexation by Germany and was interned by the Nazis in the Dachau concentration camp. Thomas Shippey, author and former faculty member of Oxford University, where he taught Old English. 
widely considered one of the leading academic scholars of J.R.R. Tolkien. Topic. Present Clarence H. Miller, emeritus professor of English known for his contributions to the study of Renaissance literature, including his translations of St. Thomas More's Utopia and Erasmus's Praise of Folly. Thomas F. Madden, historian of Venice and the Crusades, author of The New Concise History of the Crusades and Enrico Dandolo and the Rise of Venice. Jerome Katz, Coleman Professor of Entrepreneurship, founder of the Billiken Angels Network. Topic: <laughs> School Presidents. The university's current president is Fred Pestello. <laughs>